you know what time it is. Or do you? It's toast to toast time. Pardon me, let's try that again. Toast to toast time. Anyway, this is the, uh, the stupidest paranormal program east of the Smokies. And oh, mommy, please let me host it. Oh, I can? Thank you. I'm Skinny White, paranormal researcher, card-carrying mystery merchant, and amateur folklorist suffering from ADHD. What? I like this part. So this is basically the Easter broadcast, and I wanted to spend some time talking about Easter and uh, maybe some of the origins of iconography associated with it, but there's no easy way to do it, you see, because it could make people upset, right? (laughs) Yes, there are folks out there right now who are upset, apparently about the decision of UK chocolatiers to suddenly refer to the Easter egg as a gesture egg. And while folks are arguing, perhaps rightfully, that this is at least ridiculous and at most uh, an insult. Well, Cadbury says they have nothing to do with it. It was an independent store. They claim they have no plans to replace the Easter egg with the gesture egg and blame it solely on the store in Spalding. So here to talk about it with us is the ghost of 20th century mystic and ethnobotanist Terence McKenna. Yes, hello. It is my pleasure to have you here, sir. It's always a pleasure. Yeah, it's a treat Uh, to have you here to talk about this conflagration over the Cadbury chocolate egg slash... What was it? I forgot it already. gesture egg? That's right. Yeah, the the gesture egg. Let's do it. Let's go. Well, I'd like to begin by saying it's... Very apropos for you to summon me here to talk yeah. about something that I see <laughs> time and time again, which is this uh, human instinct to say, yes, sir. wait, we're doing it over. Words have become so harmful that we have to create more of them uh-huh. <laughs> naturally. Yeah, yeah. Or repurpose them. Or repurpose them, right? Like everything. Like everything. Sure, but if this is about words, which it is, right? then you have to remember that words are sort of a magic spell that we use in utterance. For instance, uh, talking about the repurposing of a word espoused in you an immediate feeling that everything is repurposed. Mm. Well, now consider your usage of the word. Everything. 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 Well, then you're implying that there's an absolute. Let me fix my mic. But, <clears throat> but, okay, sorry. But when you say that it is repurposed, well, do you mean everything or do you mean the word everything? Hmm. It doesn't matter because this is an acknowledgement of the absolute. Are words meaningless then? Well, what's your definition of the word meaningless? My definition. You said my definition. Your definition. You're suggesting is different from yours. It might be. I feel like I'm talking to a sphinx. (laughs) (laughs) Why why am I sweating? Now let's talk about (laughs) eggs. Now, you were talking about this Cadbury egg right. fiasco. Right, mm. in England. And uh, the gesture egg. Gesture egg. And in this case, it sounds like gesture is an adjunct to symbol. Right. How is a gesture different from a symbol? Well, it isn't. Right. In other words, they're saying, please accept this symbol egg. Well, then that would mean that it symbolizes something, you know? (laughs) I don't know what exactly, but uh, here it is. Make of it what you will. Or don't. Or don't question it, right? Here's a gesture egg. Don't question it. I'm sorry. Here's a gesture egg. Well, as they say today, uh, if you know, you know. Uh, thusly, what is the gesture? Right, what are we doing here at this point? The word is to the symbol as the gesture is to the symbol. 
words and gestures are just symbols, and this is a very interesting and very strange uh, moment in linguistics. However small and inconsequential it can be, that is, as far as anyone can perceive, this is an argument in front of a convenience store. And by the very nature of the absurdity of it, we can't even begin to approach the well, the obvious hand at play here, which is perhaps to draw attention to the fact that uh, most, if not all, of this symbolism comes from Sumerian cuneiform and cults of Ishtar, Ishtar. and Eostra, variously called Inanna. A lot of this is going back to Gilgamesh and his particular scene. Mm. One of Ishtar's symbols was an eight-pointed star. I always found this interesting. If you look on the Cadbury egg, there's an eight-pointed star on it. No, <laughs> no, you'll do well to remember that this is a gesture mm. egg. But gesture uh, egg. My question is that uh, how should we refer to the bunny? It, uh, clearly, the gesture bunny or the symbol, the symbol bunny. And well, don't you think it's a little silly that undoubtedly there would be some uh, religious types who would feel that if the Easter bunny were deleted, then uh, it would be an attack on their religion. Yeah, I've, I've already seen it's it. It's very That's strange. why we're doing this one. <laughs> it's, it's, where does the Easter Bunny come from? What does that have the to do? The symbolism behind the bunny, the hair, is a part of uh, fertility goddess iconography. Right. fertility. And so is the eight-pointed star. Once again, this is the symbol of Ishtar. And it's right there on the Cadbury egg. And yet people are uh, discussing whether or not it should be called an Easter egg. Ishtar egg. Or Aostra egg. Or an Inanna egg. Mm -hmm. Or a gesture egg. Gesture egg. Right, and so now let's talk about the repurposing or recycling right. of these uh, symbols. Any scholar of ancient religion uh, might suggest that it's happened already many times. Right. The equinox, etc. You know, first it was Ishtar. It goes all the way back to Babylon. And then later you end up with uh, Eostra. Of Saxony. Right. Yeah. In the Germanic version of events, or and, and later on the, the Anglo-Saxon version M of Mr. events. Mr. McKenna, we have, uh, I have another caller here. You'll have to stick with me on this, because this gentleman claims to be the Easter Bunny. Oh, delightful. Once again, you're listening to Toast to Toast. I am your host, Skinny White, uh, on the phone currently with the ghost of Mr. Terrence McKenna. Thank you. But we have an additional caller. Easter Bunny, you are on the air. Yes, I'm here. Is everything coming through clearly? Yes, sir. Yes, I'm, I am? Absolutely. I'm coming through clearly. Okay. Yes, sir. Well, I suppose my first question is, uh, if none of you hacks mm -hmm. can come to a decision on what an Easter egg is, then what the hell am I doing sprinting around at 10,000 miles per hour delivering the well, damn thing. Well, that's what we're trying to figure that's out. You're, right. Well, you're sitting there trying to figure it out. That's right. I'm over here. I have to do it. You have to... Have you to have do to what? do it. You have to do what? You have no idea what I have to do. No, sir. I and don't. I don't have time to figure it out. I don't have any time to look at these things. Okay. But I do have to make sure that everybody gets one. You see? It gets an Easter egg? Easter egg, gesture egg, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't matter what you... I'm shitting these things out by the second. Yikes. Thousands of... Many, many, many thousands of them. Yeah. It's painful. I can imagine. For anybody who thinks that these eggs are coming from chickens, men, are they in for a shot? Well, there is some veracity no, to that. No, Terrence, I don't want to hear from you anymore. You're a damn federal agent. I don't want no, to hear whoa, anything from you. Whoa. Uh, all right, let's calm down. Well, I was going to say... Well, repurposing. It's like they repurposed Mr. Rogers. That damn. Uh, talk of the rabbit laying the egg is not unsubstantiated. No, it isn't unsubstantiated. That's correct, because I just told you. Now, I'm now. over around here laying the eggs. I'm doing it right now. God. All yeah. right. I think... All right. Uh, to continue... Go on. 
Go on And with it. it seems that our friend here <clears throat> may be caught up <clears throat> in a particular rap I call a uh, fierce or uh, aggressive agreement. Aggressive. Make your case, man. Oh, my God. Why am I sweating? The rumored cults of uh, Elestra. It's like talking to a sphinx. That's what I said. Amongst Saxony. Mm -hmm. told a story in which she turned a dove into a rabbit, though it continued to lay eggs. Mr. McKenna. Yes, Mr. Thompson. I, I mean, uh, Easter Bunny. In the time that it took for you to say that, I just laid 125,000 eggs. Wow. And I am on the run once again. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Easter Bunny, it sounds very stressful. Oh, yeah, stressful is an understatement. It's a nightmare. These, uh... Well... Quiet, Terrence! Let's keep it cool. There's a time and a place for you, man. And there's a time and a place for me. Oh, absolutely. These, uh, these things are made of plastic. The eggs? These the... crazy eggs. Are you eating right now? No, shit, are man, I'm, I'm eating an egg. A re uh, I don't have any time, <laughs> A man. regular egg or one, or one of your own? I can't stop for regular eggs. <laughs> it's like being an Amazon driver or something. So the pattern of your existence is a... A mighty weird one, yes. Easter Bunny. Yes, it's a nightmare. I anyway, what was I saying? Oh, I delivered your uh, your Easter basket already. You should Easter, have it. Easter basket. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Yeah. No, yes. I thought I saw it. Oh, my. Yeah. Easter magic. Oh, cool. Bunny magic. Yeah. The suspense is killing me. Of course yeah. it is. That was a joke. Oh, that was a... Oh, okay. Because I'm, I'm not alive. <laughs> I get it. Oh, I'm funny. hip. I'm he's hip. a funny bastard. Well, it looks like there's some eggs and candy in here. Eat it. I concur. There's absolutely nothing wrong yes. with it. Okay. It's, uh, it's all perfectly fine. All right. Well, well, how about we take a snack break and go to commercial? Once again, I'm here with Terrence McKenna and the Easter Bunny. And we're talking about... Pardon me, I haven't eaten all day. <clears throat> we're talking about whether some symbolism within the Easter holiday is dubious something to think about. Anyway, we'll be right back after a message from our sponsors. This is Dr. Franklin Rule. Yes, and not only am I here to tell you about the nutritional value of potatoes or the fact that they are rich in minerals and delicious, but there is a new way to prepare them. Yes, and it is an invention of my own, and I call them Rule Rods. These devices are about the size of a number two pencil and contain tiny fuel rods, which, when stuck inside of a potato, will cook it thoroughly using the power of their own radioactivity, which is completely harmless because the potatoes are covered in salt, which which contains iodine. Yes, rule rods. Cook a potato without using an oven. Gai! Dude, I'm totally sick and tired of crappy battle-based card games. Yeah, me too, bro. I wish there was something more dangerous we could play. Careful what you wish for, losers. Who the shit are you, dude? I'm Skinny White, and I've developed a new card game that will help you escape the nerd table at your local Barnes & Noble and put you directly in prison. The DA says I'll be out by tomorrow. Let's go. Allow me to introduce you to Super Flesh River Legacy, Words of Possession. It has a long title. I like it. Shut up, Zoomer. You'll like anything. In Super Flesh Ripper Legacy, Lords of Possession, there are no complicated rules or stats. Simply draw a card to find your demon slash Hollywood influencer and do whatever they tell you. I got Asmodeus. It's as if I let some guy from San Fernando Valley delete my parents. I could do a show with Travis Scott in my school cafeteria. I got Billie Eilish. It says shortly before your inevitable success, I'm supposed to drown you in a bathtub and make it look like an overdose. So, let's go! With demons such as Ball, Marduk, Moloch, Madonna, Trippy Red, Tom Hanks, Cthulhu, Kevin Spacey, James Gunn, Jojo Siwa and more. You no longer need confused TikTokers pointing you in the wrong direction. Trade cards with your buddy until you find the spiritual disease that suits you. This one's called Flagular. It says I should let my girlfriend do an OnlyFans. But I don't have a girlfriend. I got Lilith. She says if you live stream yourself doing the Drink Poison Challenge, you'll definitely get one. Let's go! Who needs thinly veiled Hollywood symbolism when you can call the cards exactly as you see them? Evil is everywhere! Super Flesh Ripper Legacy. Lords of Possession. Available now. All right, we're back. This is Toast to Toast. I'm your host, Skinny White, and we're talking about, uh, once again, the Easter holiday with Mr. Terrence McKenna and the Easter Bunny, who was kind enough, by the way, to have uh, delivered me an Easter basket. Oh, it's nothing. Full of enjoyable candies. Oh, oh. 
I'm out of breath, by the way. Sorry about no, that. No, no, you're not. Don't tell yourself things like that, man. I'd advise against it. Otherwise, you're liable not to have any fun. Don't get trapped in the uh, the meat locker. No, I said anything about Wait. meat lockers. Well, that, me okay. More than. Okay. Good God. Was let's, uh, let's remember what we were talking about. I want you to picture water. Uh, what were... <laughs> What were we talking the, about? The eggs, man. What, the, the symbolism. Cadbury, whatever. It's about the absurdity of changing <clears throat> the word but leaving the symbol. It all begins to become clear which of these precedes mm -hmm. the other. What? What, what is he talking about? Are we about? still talking about Easter? What are you talking about, Terrence? If what are you talking know. about? Who sent you? Well, All right, guys, no. everybody just be really cool right now. That's okay? right. There's no animal. How many, uh, how many of those Easter eggs did you eat, man? Um, I don't I don't like your tone of voice when you said that. No, I just answer the question. I only had one. Hmm. Well, uh, well you should have broken that in half. What? Why does my desk feel prickly? Uh, the whole thing. Well, so... It doesn't matter where I touch it. The whole desk feels prickly. Are you all right? No, I'm fine. Mm. Listen, listen to this. Oh, oh, God, God, what is that? Hold Get on, out of here. hold on. Listen, listen. Did you hear that? Listen. Was that a bike horn? It's a clown horn. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's what's going well, on right now? We'll try and get this thing back on track. Let's prove all these bastards wrong. Right. Okay. Uh, so as I was saying, hmm. if you take a look at the Akkadians or later the Canaanites, hmm. you'll find that there's not much incongruency. I with feel like I'm wearing the 3D glasses. Those Remember the red and the the red and blue 3D glasses. Pardon. Oh, here um, we go. I'm sorry. You know how the no, you can go on. You know how things yes. look when you're not wearing them, even though you're supposed to be? Kind of fuzzy. Please. What? Well, I Easter didn't do, Bunny. I didn't do anything that time. Who did that? This is yeah, live. Who did that? Who did here? No. Wait, Awful. This is, uh, Good God. It's not live stream. Okay. Me, John. What is this? What are we doing? It's toast. This is toast to toast. Uh, I'm... Skinny White talking now, to this uh, wasn't exclusively a fertility cult. Terence um, McKenna at its root, because in the eyes of Mesopotamia, the Easter Bunny, Inanna, uh, represented mm. love. Can anybody or, hear me? Be quiet, among you, can't, other things. you can't do anything about and this. No, you've already started it. So you can hear me. Multiple. Fertility Easter Bunny, what was in those Easter eggs? Um, well, nothing that you can't handle during a live broadcast, I don't think. Don't tell me that. He's still going on, isn't he? You're probably going on, crazy. That's, too many, too much. There's too much, there's too much going on right now. I gotta get up from this desk. Yes. I think. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea. Ooh. I Whittle it out. Whittle it out! Mm -hmm. Who's on the board? Don't get trapped. What board? I was the on the board. Oh, you lost your mind. I need some music. Where's the music? Give me the music, please. Give me the music. <sighs> Which one is that? It doesn't matter. What music is that? No, this isn't no. my show anymore. What is this? Ooh. This isn't this isn't toast to toast. Check out this uh, check out this clown horn here. This is toast to toast. Is this live? Are we live? What, is, what even is live? Take a look at this thing over here. Ooh. Happy Easter. Yeah.